Hello and welcome back to the fourth and final game of day seven in Star Letter Star Series Season 8. We're gonna see Sigma versus Oslik Gaming. Sigma with a bit of a time pressure here, so we'll see if their draft shows that. And Oslik Gaming looking for a win here in Star Series, even though they already have got at least one win under their belt. They've got two wins actually, they've played four games, two wins, two losses. So uh, that's the one that we're gonna see. And of course, I'm not by myself, I am joined once again by Vikramond. Welcome back. Good to be back, Shiver. Uh, I'm excited to see more games. Us, like, of course, were able to defeat uh, Virtus Pro. Pretty impressive victory. They're a pretty good team in general. I mean, a bunch of players have been around, like, forever. Like, big. we know Big Num, we know Ouija Sick, we know Tron, of course, was on Rock's Kiss briefly. Played pretty good three-roll there. Yeah. Uh, the question is, can they beat Sigma? Because Sigma are on an absolutely incredibly oh, yeah. hot streak right now. Yeah, they are doing so well. They are even having the chance to go get into the finals of the Dota 2 Champions League tonight, which is why they're uh, in a rush, because they're playing speed in a best of five after this one. Team and I I have to say, I mean, I've, even though I was impressed yesterday by Oslik Gaming, don't get me wrong, I think they're a very strong team. And we've seen, I, I just love that we've seen them develop from Star Ladder Season 6. And that yeah. they've become this this team, even though, of course, Dying some roster changes, but I just I just love seeing that. But I do kind of feel it's a David versus Goliath situation right here. At this point, yeah. I mean, Sigma are... They know exactly how to draft this patch. They, they play really well. They're, they're aggressive. Their style is favored by the, the patch. I don't know. Yeah. It's just... They're, they're a really tough team to play right now. Like, it's a very long time before TI4. But like right now in December, <laughs> yeah. this is one of the one of the least fun teams to play against. I would say. You're right. I, I yeah. I mean, I just think back of last year when Empire was doing so incredibly well. Exactly. Then, yeah, TI4. We can't really say anything about that just now. Anything can happen, seconds, as it is. Yeah. Of course, Dota and drama will happen and all that stuff. But for now, Five Sigma is looking remaining. very solid. They uh, they picked themselves an Elder Titan, and I believe that if people watched the games yesterday, Elder Titan was the one that won all games when he was picked up, right? He, Elder Titan just always wins in general. The hero is is broken and cannot be allowed to be picked in general. Okay. Like he's been picked about a hundred times this patch, and has a sixty far sixty four percent win rate or something like that. Like, what can you even say about that? Like, that's 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 insane. <laughs> you can't have heroes be that good. No, like you, that's... you pick the hero and, like, without doing anything else, your chance of winning has improved like a lot. Yeah, something like that that just doesn't, you know, it doesn't suit. It doesn't fit. It shouldn't be happening. Uh, we and, are like, gonna you see look also. At a spell, uh... And you're like, yeah, I, I see why this hero is bonkers. Like, just natural order. You read it and you're like, hmm, okay. <laughs> Is that supposed to work like that? <laughs> I can pay 9k gold for the items that do this, or I can pick this hero? Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, the hero wins it every time. Well, they have picked up a Bane as well, and we know that that, um, I think Mad plays quite a Mad Bane, so I, I'm happy to see him on that side, and of course they also, with that, denied it to Oslik Gaming, because Oslik Gaming picked up the Marana. Clockwork and Marana, still pretty nice. Uh, that's already two skill shots, though. And uh, we know that that can, you know, backfire. We'll see if they uh, if they'll sure. be able to work it out. We have the Io actually as the first ban, which is a hero I haven't seen banned in ages. OD, Viper, Abaddon, Nature's Prophet, Crystal Maiden, Pugna and Timur saw banned out, but that means that we still have a Venomancer in the pool, which is one of those heroes that are still picked up very frequently. I'm actually surprised that uh, both Ten Pugna and Timur saw made it through to the second banning phase, but yeah. Elder Titan. I think Timber is actually usually not worth a first ban. Um, he's he's strong, but he's got counters, and in general, uh, like we saw in that VP game that we were just watching, if he has a bad lane phase, he really struggles to make an impact. Like he's just not bad, but he's got disadvantages. Whereas Pugna is just super strong. Pugna, I think, is definitely the real deal. Um, do you know if this guy Mamadou is that actually Sokshka or is yeah, it somebody? It is. is it a stand-in? I believe. Okay, because I'm looking at the. Okay. I'm not. I'm not like, uh, not actually entirely sure because I did hear this afternoon that uh, Sigma might play with a stand-in for the Dota 2 Champions League, and I know that that's not happening anymore. But perhaps that is because Sokska wasn't able to be here before 8:30. It could mm. be that it's not Sokska. We'll see, though. I guess we can check it out once we're actually in the game. Yeah, I'm trying to look up some stuff about it. I think. This guy might actually be from the other Sigma team, from the the French team. Oh, that would be interesting. Would be confusing if it was tagged Sigma. 
And we have got a visit pick up, so he was still. I, in the I don't think this is Sock's guy. I think this is some other guy. I'm not sure. Okay. We'll check it out. Once we load it, then you can check his team profile, even though it's probably. Well, I'm looking at it right now, it, uh, and it doesn't have Sokshka's and Elias, but like, who knows? It might hasn't be a Hasn't got Smurf Paris, though, because he's been going on the It doesn't have Paris either, that's the thing. Then it's, it's got 6,000 hours in Dota, so yeah, okay, this is definitely not Sokshka. So yeah, Stand and Sigma is, is, a, is an opportunity for us, like. Yeah. And that means that we might have some people playing roles that they normally don't play. Yeah, I, I have no idea if this guy plays one or, or if he plays a different role. I have to check his Dota profile. We know that he likes creating space, though. The question is, does he like creating space with uh, with gyrocopter high grounds and Sven boar stones? Because if not, they're missing a big a big aspect of their play. Yes, I'm also. I mean, Osley Gaming they went for Wind Ranger. I find that also a skill shot. Three out of the three. Yep. And a skill well, shot, if they miss Gale. Their spells, yeah. Ooh. If they miss their spells, they'll look like idiots. If they uh, land them, they'll look pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. And I would really love for them to pick up a Pudge last that would fit. Pudge? Okay. Uh, oh, just for skill shot. Just shots. for skill shot. Clock Pudge, though, Shiver, is like the worst combo. I know. It's, uh, it's, it's in the Magic the Gathering world, we call that a non bow. I don't think Five that's something. See, uh, dude, non bow is totally a thing. No, non bow sounds like. Sounds like food. I'm hungry. Thanks. I'm really hungry too, actually. I'm fucking starving. Well, you can eat after this game, because this is our last That's game the of, the, of the night. And, um. Well, I have to say, I'm quite curious to see how Oslik does. I feel like they can pull this off. We've actually seen, um. Team ban. Uh, I believe Big Nam playing a lot of Marana yesterday. And they were able to win one game with them. And he plays the kind of Marana that I like to see that is just active and goes for arrows and hits them as well. So I'm really mm. hoping that it will work out. It, right now it looks like a one position Marana, so the kind that isn't active and doesn't hit arrows. But no, 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 it could because be. Bignam is the carry. He does play yeah. Marana in uh, like the most oh, active Marana you could think of, even though that's he cool. plays a carry role. That's really good. That's that's definitely the way to do it. And that's how Silent plays the hero as well. Like Even though they have one role, they still like go really... Uh, they attack a lot. Well, it is Sigma that is um, up to ban last, and there we go. That's going to be the Shadow Fiend removed. Hit. Still a mid hero needed for Chomi, and Chomi has been playing a lot of different mid heroes, so we'll see what he ends up going for. As we have got a Lifestealer ban out last for Osley Gaming. Well, yeah, that means that they're tricky. expecting Elder Titan on the offlane. Good work, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that's probably where Elder Titan's gonna go. I yeah. think Sigma's just gonna pick up a, like a one roll hero for for Mamadou or for whoever's gonna be playing the one. The tricky thing is uh, Puck is Fata's best hero, so your selection of a mid hero had better be something that's gonna stand up to the Puck because otherwise you're just going to potentially give the game away to, to Fata. And they banned OD to set that up. Like OD was their second ban, so uh, the Puck's going to be very difficult to deal with. Maybe even something like TA, like. I think TA could be good. TA could work out. I mean, it's a counter to the puck. I wouldn't That's mind a right. Storm either. Mm -hmm. Storm. I don't like Queen of Pain, but... Storm's just... It's it's not a, it's not like a bad matchup, but it's not good. TA it is. Yeah, you okay. were right. Get a cookie. I get... Excellent. Sorry, I make you more hungry. <laughs> there oh, is a gyrocopter. It's apparently it's funzy. It is Funzy? Uh, that's what somebody said in our chat. Because that's cool, because Funzy, of course, is cool. he is uh, retired. Yeah. And uh, apparently still likes to play Dota whenever he can if Shock's there. That's awesome. Make it. That is awesome. That's really great, because, yeah, they, that's a hero. That actually means that they basically have no advantage. Like, because they've already played with this guy so much that it's not, like, a yeah. problem. And there's no language barrier in. either. Well, no more than there usually is. No more they than talk there in usually English. is. Everybody, everybody on Sigma speaks English. Yeah, but it's like um, it's it's like how um, how I think Navi does it, right? So speak J Russian when well, Roki doesn't need to know no, anything, no, 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 and otherwise no, no. speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, like, Ten what what would they speak? Like French? Yes. Well, Fata, well, actually, there's only two. Fata and Miguel right don't speak French. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just use English. I've heard their Plus team chat. doesn't speak French either. Right, exactly. So yeah, no, they definitely Yeah, there's just, just two. English, my bad. Well, where's my mouse? There we go. We have needed one minute for Slick Gaming. 
Well, we are ahead of schedule still, so we'll see how fast uh, Sigma can close this out. As said, they are on a tight schedule. They need to win this in 35 minutes. And we can see if okay. they can do it. <laughs> GLHF. Uh, I mean, they have a lineup. The Gyro is, is not the earliest game hero, but it does provide a lot of damage. They like using Gyro very aggressively and uses spells to really generate kill opportunities early on. The thing is, Fata, uh, this is the main thing also. Like, I think the Templar Assassin pick was smart. Like, because I thought of it. No, uh, because like <laughs> they, it's so desperately important for them not to get crushed in that mid lane. Because otherwise, you know Fata is just going to roll. Like, we've seen him so many times go like 15 and 0 on Puck because he just he wins the mid lane. Gets like three kills, goes phase boots Dagon or something, and just it's over basically. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he can really shine here. And also can try to capitalize on the point that, uh, like, the lineup of Sigma, I like the lineup, don't get me wrong, but it does need some build up time. And Templar Assassin is one of those heroes that can actually disrupt that timing. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's. It, overall, Oslik's draft, I think, is pretty good. Uh, the, the main concern is you let Elder Titan through, and the hero is stupid. And, like, a lot of people aren't heroes that they like to play. Like, we've actually seen Funzie play Gyro before uh, in the two roll. And then, uh, fucking Mad, obviously, he, he. Bane is, like, his hero. He doesn't play any hero more than Bane. Okay, well, it is. Uh, Poss is good on Visage. Funzie again. Yeah, let's take a, take a quick look. I mean, we can already introduce part of the players while uh, we yeah, have definitely. this pause. Because Fada is playing his puck, which is one of the better pucks out there. We have got Funzi back from retired. Well, only temporarily. He is standing in for Stocksk at this moment. We'll play the Gyrocopter. Mad will take on his Bane. Miguel will be on the other Titan. will be on the offlane. And then Fast, last but not least, is his Visage, as you pointed out. No. And looking towards Oslik, uh, I mean, a very as you, as you mentioned, it's a delicate lineup. They really got to land all their skill shots consistently. But it is going to be Tron on the Clockwork, Big Nam on the Marana, Wicked Sick on the Wind Ranger, Chomi will be on that mid Templar Assassin. That's that's a lane to watch. Is is can he actually use? T can he beat uh, Fata Puck with its counter TA? And then uh, Wicked Sick will be on the Veno. I, I'm really looking forward to the mid lane. I think that's also where we're going to find most of our action early on. Because if OSG can make that mid lane work for them, like with help of supports or some sorts, then I feel like they've got a very good stance here in this game and they can just uh, show us how it's done. I'm also kind of... I mean, we've seen Big Nam Mirana before. Yesterday we've seen it, seen it twice. Once it worked, once it didn't. I really hope that he can make it work this game. Because... He can, he can, you can either, it's a, it's a hit or miss situation in this case. Seconds to battle. I just really yeah. feel like if he can't get his bottom lane sorted, then game is hard. Game. <laughs> I agree, definitely. Um, that's, that's one of the main danger spots. In general, I just, I don't know. It's going to be extremely difficult to beat Sigma when they're on, not just like because they're a very strong team, but when they're on comfort heroes and they're like, lineup has a coherent strategy. The question for me is, can Sigma win in time to not forfeit their first game in T2CL? That's true, because that would be quite painful. It's, a, it's an important match. There's a lot of money at stake, though it's not yet confirmed how much. Because it's not the right. same, like, it's, I believe they get also money from ticket sales, but they actually decided that to, like, without the help of Valve, so they have to get the money from Valve first, so they don't know how much they're actually going to get for it. And they don't know uh, how much. Right, because that was before that whole system got started. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. If they did it again now, they probably would get the same deal. Where yeah. Where you yeah. can see the your the like how much the prize pool is next to the yeah. And the but... other interesting thing, and I wonder if they're a little bit salty about this, is if it's true that the uh, money comes out of Valve's cut, then that's definitely not true for D2CL. So they might have gotten like, they might be making less money because they're doing the same prize share yes. that other people are doing, but they got a better deal. Yes, it is. Uh, it is. It could, it could be potentially a reason for annoyance. Let's just say yep. it very politely yep. that way. Looks like we have got dual lanes coming out of Sigma. They are uh, already harassing Big Num a lot here. Yeah, this is already game is already pretty hard as you mentioned. Yes, like this is the thing. Sigma run dual lanes almost more than any other team, and I think that's due to a very good understanding of how you can, the new possibilities afforded by landing with the changes in 6.79. And so you just see them, Sigma 
uh, before the before the last few weeks, they were one of those teams that has trouble with, uh, you know, support starving? Like, when your supports get way behind on levels and mm -hmm. stuff, because you're just not giving them farm. All of a sudden, in the last, like, two weeks, like, basically MLG and beyond, Sigma's now one of the best, like, XP per minute support teams, because they just started running dual lands all the time. And that's a huge deal. If your supports hit six earlier than the opposing team's supports, a lot of times that can just win the game for you, or at least put you at a big advantage. Yeah, especially if you have a hero like Bane, the Fiend's Grip can make such a big difference, just completely shutting down the core farmer for the other team, which is normally the one that you want to go for with your first level six, just to make sure that even if someone has been free farming, from that point onward, it's going to be uh, a lot more difficult than it was before. Yeah. And Physical mid is already so not actually. going super hot, I would say, for uh, OSG, because TA's doing fine, but she's not winning. And Fata, he know I mean, he knows this matchup, you know this guy's played Puck a, a billion and a half times, and it's it's pretty hard to play against Fata in general. He's one of the strongest mids. Yeah. In the meantime, they seem to be uh, trying to find some harassment positions here for OSG on the top lane. They're not really stopping the Gyrocopter from farming, they're slowing him down. But uh, not stopping him at all. Five last hits for Tron, who's getting slowed down. Perhaps you want to try and go for it? No. They've got that rocket barrage. They just have to be careful for the uh, for the cogs as Wicked Seek was forced to use itself. So, oh, wait a second. First blood might happen on the bottom lane. Nightmare denied, man! Gets oh, himself denied! Oh my oh, god, place. Miguel punched the Venomancer in the face. It gets first blood. Looking for Big Num, who doesn't have leap anymore. And he might be able to get that, but he doesn't chase, even though he has boots. And Mirana does not have boots. And oh my god, they're denied! Yeah, plays for days, for sure. They didn't have any spells to remove it, like, it, it, so it ticked twice, and that was probably yeah. the most painful ticks for us, like, they're like, no, I want the first blood, but no, actually, that's, and that, yeah, it's not just a deny, it's a deny that means that Sigma grabs the first blood there, it's huge advantage now for Sigma in that bottom lane. That is pretty scary, I mean, that is the safe lane of OSG, I mean, it's okay, like, they're they're still getting something on the top lane, but they really needed Marana to work for them, because he, she is the only one that has, or she's the one that has the biggest carry potential, not the only one, Temporal Assassin, of course, is also one that has a bit of carry potential, but she's not winning mid either, but then Marana needs to do well, there is no other way to do this game for them. I am worried. Chomi yeah, in the meantime, I'm really worried too. 14 to 5 up against the puck, with the double damage rune that is 20 for 2. Yep, that's... I mean, he's gonna pick up a lot of last hits here, because uh, Fata cleared out the entire wave, but Fata's getting rune control. He's really dictating the pace of this mid lane. Even He's not winning by a lot, but Puck should be losing, so... Yeah. And the fact that he is uh, playing even slash winning is, uh, is says enough. And actually, last hit, like... Gold-wise, Chomi, I mean, he has a bottle here. Oh, he has boost, that's why. I was wondering yeah, where that money boots. went. But yeah. I think so far Sigma are going to be very happy with their progress because they've also they're pushing Wicked Sick off the lane. That was the last the last regen was just used in Oslik's top lane. Uh, now Clockwork is leveling well, so it's not um, it's not going that badly. But you do see that the Gyro is out farming, the Elder Titan is out farming the Marana actually quite substantially, and Puck and Tia are basically even. So every lane. Oh, actually, nice. They trapped Funzi in a Cogs, and I think Funzi is probably dead. Yep, nicely done. They really needed that too. But in the bottom lane, they're oh, they so are hard. diving. Big Num does have a leap still ready. Could use it. We just Zig is actually trying to lock Madden, but We just Zig doesn't have wards. That would be the ultimate thing to have right here. Big Num, yes. he's got himself a star storm. Hits if the arrow, go for the, the star storm. Leap away. He gets himself out, but right now Miguel only one spirit away from getting a double kill. Never mind. He just punched and get a double kill. That's all you need. Nightmare up on the Wind Ranger, even though the. Shackle still lacks, and that should still be a kill for Wicked Sick, but... Oh, definitely. That is still gonna be your Marana dead. Your double kill for the Elder Titan, who right now is 3-0. 17 last hits might not be something to write home about, but he is still fourth highest on last hits in the nice, and... Yeah. Oh my god, this is... This is getting scary, if you're asking. Like, can Sigma make it in, right now, 25 minutes? <laughs> I would say, well, yes, they definitely right. could. Uh, the one, the nice thing for Oslik is TA is starting to do a little better because he, once he was able to bottle fairy and had the boots, uh, he's now has better refraction uptime and he's harassing Fata back a little bit. So he's now actually able to even take a rune for himself. So it, it's going a lot better in mid and they did get the kill on gyro top, which that's very, very important to get those kills. Yeah. Trying to slow down Sigma. That, that's what you want to do here. Slow down their momentum and of course with that get extra time to uh, to build up your own momentum, which 
for now is gonna get, come mostly off the back of Chomi right here. He is sitting on 3411. And what are you expecting him to go for in this type of game? Does he want to have, wait a second, Tron? It's gonna be nightmared. Still, the cogs already popped. That's gonna be pretty scary. Should be able to get himself out of there. Oh, nice shackle coming in from the Wind Ranger. TP from Chomi as well. This could be the difference that OSG needs. Rock of Rash still does a lot of damage to Tron, but Chomi is still chasing, gets a refresher on, and that's another kill going the way of OSG. Looking for a pass, and he also gets killed. That is three dead here on this top lane. Brilliantly done. Yeah. That shackle setting up for everything, and Chomi teleporting in at the right time, and he now mm -hmm. has picked up Treads. Yeah, and that's that's when, when they land their spells, when all those skill shots that you mentioned during the draft land, that suddenly Sigma it takes three bad bad deaths. Uh, Gyro just died, and now he died again, and they lose two both supports besides. Uh, we talked we just talked about how Sigma's dual lanes can guarantee them levels, but uh, currently both Bane and Clockwork, uh, sorry, and Visage are down at level four. Ouch. Yeah, and if we look at the Windrunner, she's level six, and Venomans are level four as well, but. Exactly. Can and we actually call? I mean, yeah, we can call the Windrunner a support. Yeah. Well, we can call her a support, but we can't call her Windrunner. That is true. Tron finds himself Miguel in the jungle. The Earthsplitter comes out. That should be allowing Miguel a chance. Yeah, to get away. That was kind of awkward. Boom! There he goes. But um, yeah, I mean the main thing is just Tron isn't six yet. Yeah. If he had that hook shot there, that would have made a difference. Bottom tower is under Ooh, yeah, arrow easy almost kill, hits. Almost hits. Mm -hmm. But it, I was asking you before that happened, like, what do you think Chomi is going to do? Is he going to go for Blink Dagger, or does he want something like a Yasha first? Uh, that's a really excellent question. Um, I think Blink would be very nice, uh, just for the positioning ability. Uh, you can never go wrong with a Desolator, either, uh, for TA. But yeah, I think it's probably a Blink game. It feels Blinkish to me. Get, get in position to just merc yeah. that puck, or merc that gyro. I hope blink as well, because especially for chasing potential on the puck indeed, and... Just before, or just for the aggression that you need to have. Fada, by the way, has an invis rune. But he walks right past the sentry ward. There's a moonlight shadow up, the shackle comes out, the gale as well. Fada is in a lot of trouble, face shift is still there. It's gonna help him a little bit, the dream coil comes out, he does have... People backing him up as he takes an arrow to the face, the nightmare will keep him safe for a little while longer, but... He is forced back out of this fight. In the meantime, Miguel, he is just punching people to the face right now. But now he gets blocked in. Can they kill him up before he TPs out? No, they cannot. <laughs> El Elder Titan just punches Wind Ranger and TPs himself out like Your nothing games. is wrong with this world. And that yeah. is going to be in favor of Sigma, even though they Radiance probably wanted to get more out of that rotation with Fada. They did, but it's it's okay. I mean, they get another kill on Miguel and now 4-0. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, I sneezed. Um, oh, sorry, people on the TV for guess. Yeah, I, didn't I apologize hear it. for the, my disgusting personal. Uh... <laughs> well, it's nothing wrong with sneezing. Oh, shut up, on Fada. Tron finally level six. Fada doesn't have an orb just yet. Three seconds, but perhaps he's dead before then. Face shift is still yeah, there, but dead. that's a kill. Nicely done. Chomi gets slowed down because he wants to go for pass. Can they still make it happen? I'm not sure they can. There will be another Probably, trap, another yeah. slow. The melt damage will come through, and pass will get cogged in. And will uh, most likely get killed off. Double kill for Chomi, and he is definitely working towards uh, a Blink Dagger if that's what he wants to. He only needs about 500 gold before he has it. Yeah. That's... I mean, Fata, with the not having the orb available, gets hookshotted. And actually, this is a pretty quiet puck game from Fata. And part of that is the lane, the fact that you that TA makes it more a lot more difficult. He can't really dominate the way that he wants to dominate whenever he's playing puck, but... He's been really held down. 0-1-1 one, and one now is his record, and we really haven't seen too much activity from him. Meanwhile, oh Meanwhile. my god, Miguel. <laughs> hey, Just... Elder Titan, I followed that. It's like, you know, he was so far away from that... Oh, what a dodge. Nice dodge. Starstorm still comes out, though, and that might have actually be a kill, but Chomi just there with the melt damage. That's a nice pickoff. That's really bad. Mega TA, kill. TA got 647 gold from that. Yeah, if she wants a Blink Dagger, she has it, or if she wants a Yasha, she has it, too. She can choose. Yeah. She can do anything she wants. That's that actually makes it like the Veno kill was not at all worth it. To, nope. Like you feeding six hundred forty-seven gold to Templar Assassin is you probably lost more gold than you gained. Oh, for sure. I mean, he gave a Mega Creel streak away. Yeah. Oh, I just mean even he probably lost more unreliable. Oh, yeah, most likely. We have got a smoke up again. Fada's looking to try and make a difference here on the bottom lane. The nightmare is on, and Fada will silence. There will be an orb that gets dodged. There's still a leap, but there's gonna be Big Num dead. In comes the shackle though, still ledges on that. The power shot is there, enough damage. The hook shot comes in. That's at least 
Bane dead, but Wind Ranger dies with him because the Gyrocopter just being Gyrocopter right now. And it looks like Tron is in some trouble as well, but he should be able to make it out. Oh, oh! Hello, Range Creep! Wow, that was a very Fada considerate Range Creep. Fada orb on top of him, but they... This is... St oh, uh, Elder Titans here, never mind. They're still diving it? Uh, they should. They can kill this. They can kill this buffer. They now know where Except he is. they keep missing orbs. Moonlight Shadows. Moonlight Shadow. Should keep him safe. And that's gonna be TA coming in to save the day once again. Everyone will miss, but it doesn't matter. They're cogs! Oh, Marana wow. takes the kill. Sigma from are not playing well. I Hello? think they just want to get out of here and go to their next game. They are. They are. They're clearly in a rush. And Fada might actually still be in some trouble. He doesn't have an orb. His face shift now on cooldown. And that's gonna be another pickup. This is yeah. an unstoppable Templar Assassin. 6 0 3. Blink Dagger working out. And she is. Like, she is sitting on 6k gold, while the gyro sit Gyrocopter yeah. is sitting on 3.6. That's really the term, isn't it? They're they're in a rush. Like, yes. win or lose, they just... They, they don't need this game. Like, even if they lose it, they still stand a decent chance at making playoffs. And so, like... Th this is not characteristic. Like... Sigma is a very aggressive team, but, like... The amount of just running in randomly that they're doing and like fata like is pretty sloppy with his orb placement which is one of the one of the areas in which he's better than almost any other puck but like not this game nope as i always say well i don't always say it but that's why i should say always bet on the underdogs in star ladder in and white people teams oh yeah i agree what just in general in western dota <clears throat> the underdogs yeah. are gonna win a lot <laughs> yeah Star letter, that's true. We have a smoke up for OSG. They are looking for bottom lane. Bottom lane where once again Elder Titan is sitting around and Fada there as well. So if they get these two kills, even if it's two versus five, that would be worth it. Fada has still got an orb though and should be able to get himself away. Unless he this gets tower will be denied though. And it's actually gold that uh, Sigma need. So the, the deny is pretty bad for uh, Sigma. Oh, and they don't get anything off it though. I mean, there's five heroes here bottom from OSG. They only get yeah. the night tower. That's not really worth the rotation unless they get. They a can tower. take the tier one. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, they can afford to spend a little time because TA is so far ahead of everybody else. And Tron else, still has like... a, is looking for the hookshot. Hookshot comes in. He gets Miguel. Cogs are there as well. In comes an earth splitter, but it will miss completely. Whip actually. No, we just take just walks into no, that one. No. And that's gonna be Clockwork and Venomance of that Fiend script now up on Chomi. Refraction is now off, and he is actually gonna be taking a lot of damage from that. Will not die. It's gonna refraction again in a second. Fada looks to be running away from this. Big Num does have a leap, but will use it to get himself away. It's two for one. That Earth Splitter was completely off mark, at least for a. Uh, uh, hello. Oh God, there's something wrong. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> what? Did you see my drawings? I don't yes. have my mouse selected. I don't know why it's drawing. Help me. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you, you can't control your Oh, your I drawings? fixed it, I fixed it, I fixed okay. it. <laughs> it's very nice, lots of curly cues. Very, very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, that was awkward. If they had killed TA, that would have been an amazing fight for Sigma. Um, that, but yeah. they, should, they came just short with a good shackle shot and arrow response from Marana and Wind Ranger to bail out the Templar Assassin. So Chomi gets out of that fight and preserves his seven kill streak. And I still think Oslik, that wasn't the greatest fight, obviously, but they're still right now in control of the, the game. Yeah, that's for sure. I have to say, I mean, it wasn't a, like OSG, the way that they were ahead. They kind of gave that up. They're now on even ground in my book, but it could have gone so much worse for them. As um, Big Num Definitely. is attempting arrows all the time, but doesn't really find his targets. If TA just dies, if, once TA dies, if they can kill her or gank her, then yeah, I think Sigma are all the way, all the way back. But for now, it's, uh, I don't know. I still think Oslik are in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think so too, especially with that shackle latching of Fada. That was not what I was about to say, but it does happen. A nightmare comes out, though. There is three heroes middle on the side of Sigma. I mean, they have to, like, you know... <clears throat> OSG is the one that has got most control of the map lately, but they have not been able to take any towers and Sigma so far has been able to take one even though it was a deny that map control that whole radiant jungle is Not as scary as it used to be for Sigma So in a way they increase their farming space slightly and all the tier 1 towers on the side of Sigma are still standing And they're not just standing. No, they're standing very strong still with most of the health still in there. <laughs> they're standing tall. Yeah. yeah Not crumbling at all yet. Not crumbling. That's true. Yeah, I mean, the, the <clears throat> fact is, you're, you're completely right, Shiva. They haven't, because of the choice of the Blink Dagger from TA, I mean, it's really just a kill-focused item, and they haven't really tried to push at all yet. And to win, 
you gotta kill the ancient, and that's behind a lot of towers. So, but I think TA can go Dezo next, and she'll have a ton of damage. Yeah, that could definitely work out. I mean, she's sitting on 2,300 gold, so you could definitely uh, start building it. Blink Dagon is also up on the puck, though, and that's going to be one of those key items that Sigma really wanted to have. And it's going to be allowing them to be as aggressive as they have been trying to be already beforehand. Attack. Right, right. In the meantime, 15 minutes until uh, this detonation. 15 minutes until... T <laughs> Do you think they'll just insta-GG at that point? I... I don't that know. game is so much higher stakes, right? Yeah, like, and I mean, I don't know what, um, like, what the rules are. How how much late can they be? I I have no oh. idea. I, honestly, I haven't been following. I Champions actually, League I that just closely. um, I just saw a message in the conference from the Champions League, and they say we we will start when Sigma enters Star Ladder match. So they are not too, okay. Uh, so they don't have to match. give up, yeah. Exactly. Which is good because they have Gyrocopter, so he's sooner or later he's just gonna deal. With yeah. Too much damage. No pressure. Yeah, except usually we say that ironically, and this time it's like. Not That's ironic. actually true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually wondering how much Sigma knows about that. Like, oh, I see it because I'm in that conference, but that conference only has casters in it, no managers or anything uh, like that. Oh, there's no managers? Interesting. No, no there's okay. a different conference for that, I believe, with admins and managers. Yikes. Well, if they, if they say something in all chat, you should probably tell them. Yeah, oh, Fiend's Grip, Earth Splitter, Tron will be the target here. Moonlight Shadow, though. Clockwork might have died, but perhaps they can take something in off the back of this one. No, they're not going to try. The rest nah. of the TPs wouldn't be there in time. and They used a lot of hate for that Tron. They really did. I mean, they used um, Fiend's Grip as the main thing, but also Earth Splitter. So. Earth Splitter, call down, everything was there. Yeah, but call down's like... Yeah, true. 10 second CD. As Mirana dies to the puck, that is actually... Uh, a pretty big pickup for Fada because it yeah. was a solo kill. That's what can't happen, and especially because Marana isn't going damage heavy, she's going BKB first. Uh, she, like, you end up with a Marana that can very quickly become irrelevant if she doesn't hit her BKB and she keeps getting solo pickups. Also, it's what Fada hasn't been getting all game is these dominant, like, transition into just winning. And he's going to be very happy that he managed to get that easy kill. Yeah, especially since he's now level 12, he's only a level behind Chomi, which is a pretty big deal. Level-wise, I have to say, it's still fairly even for everybody. The experience graph, actually, as I say that, I look at this graph and it's, it's about even, so no real difference there. Gold graph, though, in favor of Sigma, and I think we can contribute that one. It, it, it's only 1.5k, but we can contribute that one to the tower that's dead. Yeah, I think so. It's still a very, very, very close game. I'm still watching intently for what TA is going to build next. Yeah. Uh, we know what Marana's committed to, but in both t both teams have mechanisms, so it's still really, it's completely anybody's game. And for us, like, it's still, do you start a fight by landing a great shackle on two plus a hook shot, or do you whiff hook shot, whiff shackle, and just immediately lose, basically? With arrow, yeah. Yeah, I got AFK for a second, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I have to say, I... Like, they have shown that they can hit those arrows, and the shackles, and the gales, and the hook shots. It can all happen, but the question is indeed where are they gonna try something, because right now, they had the upper hand for a while, they know that they now no longer have that, and they need to start trying to take down those tier 1 towers soon. That's where they get to get most of their gold from, because if you think of this game very late game, Sigma is gonna take this. They've got a gyrocopter, they've got an Elder Titan, there's no way that OSG with the Cimarron and Templar Assassin should, in theory, of course, be able to take this uh, late game. The As I noticed some Dutch people in the chat. Dutch people, why are you not celebrating Sinterklaas? Shame on you. Also, shame on you Dutch people in Dota TV. Sinterklaas would not be happy with you and he'll write your name in the big book. Oh, hookshot misses! He hits it on his teammate! First one comes in, we'll hit up on Tron and we just zig. Both of them will die. And that's going to be the rest of OSG backing up. The Moonlight Shadow is there, but the dust as well. This looks to be a big, big, big mistake for OSG. They lose four. Windrunner wasn't even there anymore. She has been forced to back off, but might still die as Fada just blinks into her. Is there a dream call? No, they won't be able to stop her from teleporting out. But oh my god, that was an initiation from OSG. The hookshot whiffed as we anticipated could happen. And they just lost the entire fight because of that. And the only one that shows any sign of struggle is Miguel, who uh, was just fine because he's Elder Titan. His Earth Splitter hit him too. He's going to be very happy with that. He's got his mechanism. He's got 1600 gold in his team. He's taken down towers like there are twigs. Tier 1 tower mid is... Uh, tier, tier 1 tower mid is already dead. 
tier 2 tower mid is already dead as well. And, I mean, they might not be wanting to push onto the tier 3, but with this fight right now, they have put their mark on this game. It went from being fairly even to now 5k in favor of Sigma in terms of the gold. Experience graph went from fairly even to 7,500 in favor of Sigma. And, of course, I mean, we don't really see any more the uh, gold that... The Templar Assassin got, but she had, I believe, an unstoppable yeah. streak, and that's a lot of gold. Welcome back. Good to be back. Uh, they, they just sort of didn't transition. Like, when Tia gets an advantage that big early on, you expect them to sort of just be able to turn it into an even bigger compounding advantage as well as push. And you had highlighted, Shiva, the fact that they didn't really even touch the tier, the tier ones at all, nor did they continue getting kills. Oh, so. Yep. I don't know, I feel like uh, excessively passive a little bit from Oslo Gaming, and now they've definitely lost that moment. The next thing is that they just need to pull it together and get some items. How much do you think that the mental component like plays a part in this one? Because if you're OSD, you're gonna, you know you're going to be up against a fairly high uh, ranked team, right? So if you're doing well, could you be more hesitant than what you should be purely because you know that the team should be able to... like? You're not expecting the team that you're playing against hmm. to be beaten by you in the early game? I, I, it, I it sounds really, maybe. really stretched, but far-fetched, but it's, it feels like it could play, play a role. I think it could, but I don't think Sigma, like, team, people don't respect Sigma that much yet, honestly. Like, it, it was only a week ago that people were like, Sigma's gonna go 0-9 at MLG and be an embarrassment, even though they, their, their minimum record would be 0-8. But like, it, that's not the same for players. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I mean, this, yeah, that was fans. But even players, like, I was doing interviews at MLG, and, like, all through the, up until the playoffs, people were just like, well, they they just draft well. Like, they're not really good. They just draft. And I, I think it takes time for that to turn into, wow, this is actually a really legit team, and they're really high tier. Perhaps. Perhaps you're right, indeed. Well, so far, they are indeed very legit. We still have the Desolator for the TA, but uh, it's right later now, than I thought, though. Yeah, honestly. right now, it's, it's I mean... I might even say maybe too late, because normally when you do well with a TA, you want to have that ball rolling, like snowballing, that's what it is. But she kind of yeah. stopped, and then hopefully for her she starts again, but right now she is, uh... Hey, what do you call who, that part on the heel the where it flattens out a bit before it goes start deeper again? Oh, I, I have no idea, sorry. Well, oh, you're know. the one that has yeah, the English language as model language, you have to know that. Do I have to know that? I'm well, all you're, a, you're a snowball, you roll down the hill, and then you come on a flat piece, and that that part. Oh. Because I don't want to say um, stagnated, because that's boring. No, I, I, I understand what you're saying. want to continue with the metaphor. Sorry, I, I'm pretty dis distracted a little bit. Uh, hmm. Snowball rolls down the hill, and then it flattens out like a plateau, I guess? Plateau! Yes, we're gonna call it a plateau. Well, the snowball comes to a plateau and it can't fall off again. There we go. I thought you, sorry, I actually initially thought you meant the part of like the like the human heel, like on the foot. And I was like, well, I don't heel. know anatomy. Heel. I know, I know, I got it now. Oh, Dream Curl up in Tron, he might be in some trouble. Matt goes for Brain Saps to Ooh, shot away, but Fada has already jumped himself in there and has his dag on. That's going to be him <laughs> using an Invis rune to get away. Dodges an arrow. Fiends creeper in the meantime up on the Wind Ranger, who is able to at least dodge the Earth Splitter, but it doesn't matter because Miguel will just punch her in the Isn't face. Isn't it cool how Elder Titan has no items, but he's hitting for 300? <laughs> that's quite sick. And that's what a, also what a cool place. hero that's not at all Radiant's imbalanced. Nope. Plateau. Top tower is this Next time I will have my part, metaphor sorry. rolling out like I knew when I was going to say that. <laughs> And when you're code casting with me, you'll remember, and it's like, oh, I taught her that word. She never had done that. To, I think you're trying to roll these metaphors up a hill in a Sisyphean endeavor, but... I have, like, I, like I'm like i trying to increase my uh, vocabulary. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. You know? And I have sure. learned that metaphors, or throwing out a lot of metaphors, makes you seem like you have a bigger vocabulary. So that's true. That's why I try to learn more metaphors, or try to create my own. <laughs> nice. Legit. Yep, that's what I thought too. So he's just Max and Dagon at this point. Fada's yeah. feeling pretty good about how this game's going. And yeah, honestly, Sigma managed to... They were in a fairly precarious position, but they knew that because they had towers, because they could just farm up a little bit and just take it over. As long as TA didn't get any bigger than she already was. Because that's the thing. Like, yeah, TA got seven kills, but all she made with them was, like, blink. So... Yep. 
when you just have Blink, you need to keep getting more kills so you can actually take over the game. And that's what Chomi really didn't do. He didn't transition a great start into a great mid-game. And Sigma have uh, abused that to the point where now Chomi is behind the top three farmers on Sigma. And even Visage is catching up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty scary because, I mean, Marana, for example, we haven't really seen her in action that much. She is not going to outcarry anybody on Sigma. She is lower than the than the visage that you just talked about who Dyer's has an Aghanim Scepter. And it's... Under attack. Yeah, they haven't been able to get that much off the back of the of the Templar Assassin either in terms of towers, which is you know, one of the really things punished, they could yeah. have at least uh, get some gold for your supports, but nope. Ooh, yeah. blink forward. Dagon already used. He's able to at least jump himself away, but Wicked Six still getting killed off by just an Elder Titan Spear as this comes walking across an invisible well, target. Isn't it real cool how Elder Titan is here, but he kills somebody here? What a cool, what a cool hero that's not imbalanced at all. There are more heroes that can do that, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's normally not, not on a, like... On a 10 second cooldown? Very few, actually. <laughs> that's true. They just profit. Ultimate can kill someone, like, there while he is over there. Wow, wait a second. They hook shot in. They get themselves hooked in by the Bane. But it doesn't really matter, because in the meantime, Venomancer gets picked up on the back food. Tron will still be able to get fucking mad, or should be. Doesn't get him, never mind. Well, that was a bit of a ballsy move from Tron. Chomi goes for a hit upon the Elder Titan. It gets healed up instantly with a mechanism, and Pfada jumps himself in again. Not gonna be able to get Big Num, though, but... That, that's still, I mean, Sigma's still not moving oh, away. Oh, almost a, almost a godlike hookshot, actually. It could have latched mad very easily. Oh, Ooh, arrow. the arrow hits they up on that, though. though. Because if they in. walk in, they're just going to get Elder Titan in the face. Punched. In comes yep. a star. Brief, briefcased. Staplered. I don't know. St yeah, right. The staple gun versus briefcase debate. I'm firmly on the briefcase side. Yeah. For worth. I was casting with someone. Um, I don't know who it was, but he really thought it was briefcase. In which case, or a stapler. In which case, I was actually arguing for the. Um, well, I, I I was arguing during the draft, so I didn't actually see the item all that close up. But I was arguing mm -hmm. for a um, horseshoe. Okay. But yeah. it doesn't work. I, I feel it, but it's got a it's a horseshoe with a handle, which kind yeah. of defeats the purpose of horseshoes in some respects. That is true. <laughs> like if this. <laughs> And he's got like really awkward, ho and, like. But you know, he is the forger of the world, so he also forged himself a weapon while doing that. So. Yeah. Oh there yeah, definitely. This is definitely his like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's. I'm sure this. I'm sure that somewhere in Valve headquarters, there's like a a name for what this item, what this weapon is. Yep. And then a un under that, there's an asterisk, and then at the bottom of the page, it just says aster. Open parentheses. Briefcase. Close parentheses. No. Well, Gyro has a butterfly. He has also still got that Aegis. There is almost 20k gold in favor of Sigma. I can't believe I actually started doubting if they could able could be able to to take this game. But right now, it doesn't look like OSG well, on, can on have deadline, anything on them. It would have been really hard on Deadline, right? Yeah, yeah. And it looks like is... a, Sigma were playing really sloppy early. So yeah, they were. If they had kept playing sloppy, but no, they tightened up. Oh, Fada and gets himself Fata... a TA and gets arrowed in the face. That might actually be a go. Big Nom, Star Storm. That's a kill right there. 700 gold. 750 gold nice. going the way of Miranda. That's a good pickup, but in the meantime, nope. they will lose. Going the way of sick. Venno. Going the way of uh, Venno, yes. It would have been nice if it was is Marana, super important. Marana is the one that needs the gold, but yeah. Details. Details. She has a BKB first item. Still, one thing that's yep. still worry, I mean. Doesn't Templar, do anything. Yeah, Templar Sessa needs to be the one to do the damage, but she actually needs to be alive for that, and. Her uh, refraction is uh, not going to be enough to save yeah. her up against the gyrocopter. Yeah, the thing is, for Fata to trade his life for for TA is actually fine because it preserves so much map control. Like with no TA, Oslik like, have like they don't th their entire team doesn't have the damage. So while TA is dead, they basically have to sit on high ground, which is what they're doing, and that gives the entire map over to Sigma to do whatever they want with it. Check out their wards. Like these are. The, some of the most aggressive wards you can possibly place because Sigma, they know they control basically 100% of the map. And Fata is basically enforcing that by running around blowing people up with Dagon 5. Yeah, that's very much true. I actually have a, a theory about why Sigma has started to play better. They what? saw the same message as I did. Oh, they were Somewhere like, we don't, have to, we don't have to win in 25 Yeah, for a yeah. few, we can actually relax and just play this game like we should, and then all of yeah, a sudden they start blowing Dota. people away. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's a good point. I bet that is what it is. But... Mental state. I mean, I don't know. At this point, Oslik, I don't really see... Like, you have Marana as your one. It's yeah. just, what does she do? They try, though. They have got smoke... They have uh, smoked up. They are... Getting familiars. Great. Smoke they for, don't even smoke get for that familiar one. kills. They got one. They got one. Yay. In the meantime, their bottom lane is under siege because that's where everybody of Sigma is. They might be able to get Miguel though. That would be a big pickup. But he turns on his BKB. Has got an Earth Splitter coming out. He is still so tanky. He might actually get Tron. He does get Tron. He doesn't die. Oh my god. This is... Oh, five versus one, and they can't even bring him below half health. Well, that yeah. happened. <laughs> what a cool, what a cool hero. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's just like a farm difference, really. But the mechanism in the BKB, yeah. That's, I mean, they yeah. just don't have the damage. It's just it's painful to watch. Templar Assassin is uh, back in base. Will be the one to do the damage. He has also got a Chrysalis, but blink forward. Fada is already taking care of the Wind Ranger, so no shackles anymore. Melt damage still does quite a bit to the puck, but nonetheless, we'll just stand here and get healed up. Bottle charges, urn charges. Tier 3 tower fortified for the moment, but only delay of execution, as also uh, Funzi is just trying to make sure that he can get... Like, well, that was Venomancer. Oh, Fiends gift call down Chomi. It. No refraction for him. Big Nam will be leaping away with his BKB no, on, but his BKB only on to get himself back to Fountain. That's a GG. That is Sigma winning this game here. Starlighter Stars Theory Season 8, Day 7, Game 4 of 4. Wow. Yeah. We see this stuff a lot. Like, the... With teams that are really big underdogs and like aren't that experienced as a team, you you, see, you can see them like frequently they'll have good laning. Like if you're a good player, most good players can beat most other good players in a lane like with the right play. Yeah. But the question is, what do you do then? Like, is your captain experienced? Are you as an outfit? Do you have like the coordination and the game sense to be able to take it out? And that's where you struggle as a new team. Like you you crush the other team in lane or like you win the early game, but then. What do we how do? do? You make and sure. you saw them be lost. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. do you make sure that it continues? That's uh, yeah. That that's a big difference right there. And I yeah. Do you think it was just that outpicked? Maybe slightly. Marana didn't really. Ah uh, yeah. The, the draft was not as good. Like Sigma had a very very comfortable draft. They had all the heroes they like. They had Elder Titan, who you have to ban first. I don't think if you don't have first pick, you can let Elder Titan through. In my in yeah. my opinion, he's the best hero of the game. He did show uh, quite some potential in this game. I have yeah, 11 3 11, no problem. <laughs> yeah. GG, no ring. Offlane, Ella Titan, no problem. I did like yeah. uh, seeing uh, seeing uh, Funzi again, by the way. Yeah, I miss Funzi. He's a cool, cool guy. Funzi OD, legit. It wasn't that, though, this game. Anyways, that was, like I said, the last game of uh, of the day. That means that you can get, head yourself over to Daily Motion to watch the Sigma vs. Speed game, or you can still watch Fnatic taken on Liquid in the best of five. I think it's over already. Oh, really? It was a best uh, of five. No, sorry, it's game three, game three, and it's actually really close. Never is mind. Is it? Is it two zero or is it like? It's is... one one, and it's game three goes going on right now. And uh, game three, Liquid actually picked Centaur and Witch Doctor, so that's Ooh, that's two something heroes. that is interesting to watch. Yep. Uh, uh, VP is... Mao's ended, but uh, I think Fragbite is going on. That and... is true. They have got semifinals, yes, and they've also yeah. got the finals tonight. Fragbite? Yeah, they actually have it's finals over starting already? at twelve. Wait, really? What happened to the rest of Fragbite? I feel like I missed this entire tournament. No, well, they they had, like, group stages, and then they were set to have another set of group stages, like, right now, but they changed it, and they had quarterfinals yesterday, semifinals and finals today. Felt like they just wanted to get it over with. But, I don't know. Wow, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Wait, but... On Fragbite, I see Alliance playing zero respect. But, yes. And then afterwards, the... it will be Fnatic versus Power Rangers. And then afterwards, the winners of those two will face each other, all, all best of three. As the finals? Semi-finals and then last, last one finals, yeah. Okay, I'm really confused, that's how but I'll that's get okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope, because if I didn't do that, then I, I said it wrong on my website uh, as well. I'm just try I'm trying to look at the te like, Team Liquid Liquipedia thing, and just the teams are completely different, so I'm really confused right now. I will, uh, I will link you the link, because they ha actually did... Like, they did something really stupid, what I find really stupid. Like, I make schedules, right? And then yeah. I had the schedule sorted out, and it said at first, like, that uh, Alliance would face Power Rangers, and that Fnatic should face yeah. um, Warmaker, War or Zero Respect. Oh, wait, both the same team. Oh, Warmaker is Zero Respect. I believe okay, so, fine. yeah. Okay, and, yeah, it is. Zero. And then, you know, they came out today with a post that said it was the other way around. It was Alliance versus Warmaker and Power Rangers versus Fnatic, so that was kind of stupid. Um, okay. 
That's funny. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Both. So yeah, there's a lot of cool games. I think. Uh, yep. Sigma games gonna be Sigma Speed's gonna be a really cool rematch of Sigma. We're really not happy about losing to Speed and at MLG semifinals. They I thought that they should have won both games. Yeah, I can understand. Which that. is true. They probably should have won both games. Yeah, it was impressive. Especially game, game two. Time. They were so ahead, and they just kept getting arrowed again and again. And then, of course, the the gyro play was Seems what really sealed odd. it. Yeah. Well, getting Seems hit by arrows is your good. own fault. Yep, shoot arrow, hit arrow, one game. Mm hmm. That is innate true. Uh, to be honest, by the way, for people watching uh, or wanting to watch the D2L, that is a game that decides who goes to Vegas. That's a pretty big deal. Who are they playing against, whoever wins that game? Uh, Alliance is already there. Uh, this morning, I believe, VG Gaming won. Sorry for the spoiler. So that is Alliance, VG, and the person that game top of the group stages in, uh, in the D2L. Was it DK? I don't think it was actually. I think it it's was LGD, LGD, isn't it? It's LGD. Yeah, it was I forgot LGD. that the Vegas is mixed is the top two of West and East. So actually, that's going to be extremely exciting. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be LGD and Vici, and then Alliance and the winner of Fnatic and Liquid. That's going to be quite the tournament. That is that is going to be really insane. That's I what I love about this year of Dota is the mixture of the scenes. I think it's really important. Yeah, I agree, and I think it's great. Like if you look at StarCraft, there's such a big difference with, uh, you know. You know instantly that when Koreans are in there because they yeah. they do totally own well. The place. There's a couple, yeah. There's a couple Westerners that are good now in StarCraft, but yeah. Yeah, but I like, I like that in, really in Dota it's, it's way more even. You, you don't it's know. It's way more even. Yeah. It can go either uh, although, way. Although I I have this I don't know I, right now I feel like the Chinese teams are a little stronger, but I think the um, BG is, is really a cool. little stronger. I'm I'm really curious to see that yeah. this weekend if that is indeed true. But I feel like they are really doing EMS? really strong. EMS, yeah. Yeah, VG's insane, and they know the again. They know which heroes are good. They play. They play all the good heroes, and none of the bad heroes. Oh, they don't play. It. They don't play trash like Marana. They play good heroes like Bristle God. Well, I hate to tell you, but we might miss some games for the EMS because I already asked you to Kokas. You already said yes for the Rapture Gaming League. Oh, I'm gonna miss. I'm just gonna multitask. You oh. know, I've been watching streams oh. this whole time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I wouldn't no, expect just, it any other way. Screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I'm excited actually for the Rapture Gaming stuff because um, I think Maneski has a good shot, and they haven't, they don't win enough tournaments considering they're actually like a pretty legitimate team. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, for people watching, tomorrow I will be actually online earlier than today because I'm gonna be casting the Rapture Gaming League. We'll be a best of three between first departure and Orange will be the semifinals, and then on Saturday it will be the third place decider, and then on Sunday the grand finals. But it will be a best of three for uh, the Rapture Gaming League, so make sure you check that out at 1 p.m. CET time. And Starladder, of course, starts again at 1700, and I will be then joined by Mott, who I pronounced nice. properly. Love that Mout. Yep. Did you I've just... heard it Mott and Mout. Both people, like, just do either one. I asked him. I think he I think he, I think he prefers Mott. Yeah, he does. But a lot of people say Mout. Maybe, yeah. maybe to annoy him. That could be. That could very well be. He's really actually. nice, though. I love that guy. Yep. He's a really good caster, too. That's true. Talks really fast sometimes, though. He he does he does, but he's got um he's got the greatest like team fight voice. I really like what he uh like he's got the like he his just goes deeper whenever he like starts a team fight, which I think is really funny, but it's also super effective. Well, that's something that we can't really hear that much because I'm doing the play by play normally. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying when you watch him outcast like uh like I an EL or yeah. MLG or something. True. Well. I still have to throw out my outro, so I'm going to do that. Uh, any last shoutouts or plugins for you? No, no, I've talked enough. Uh, sh thanks for watching. Thanks for having me on, Shiver. I'll see you Saturday, I guess. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks also for joining me as well. And uh, have a good uh, Sinterklaas avond. That Dutch. That's Sinterklaas evening. It's good. You should, you know, you should have that holiday. It's great. I wish I had more candy from the season, but I actually, they sold out, so I didn't have any anymore. It's really sad. Anyways, have a good night. Bye-bye.